what's interesting about the themes within Council's strategic plan is that they actually don't all run in parallel. They're actually overlapping. To be creative is also to be smart and innovative. So many artists work in a green capacity. Livable cities are really defined by cities that are creative. It's where they join and touch is where the magic can happen in this city. In terms of what attracts businesses and people to cities, and my experience is definitely around you know, the, the opportunities for, for leveraging infrastructure, and that infrastructure could be technology, it could be buildings, it could be you know, the transport and, and, and things that help to connect the city and the communities within it. It's also around the people, the talent that people have, the, the ability to, to bring thought leadership and innovation. Um, those are the things which definitely help to differentiate cities. The feeling that people have when they're in our city it's the greenness that actually helps the well-being and the health outcomes. It's the motivation to actually walk rather than drive. Greening a city can play both to reducing carbon emissions, but also making our environment and our people healthier. Topics such as livability are all about experience. And at the heart of what we do as designers, it's we're actually creating great experiences for people. And creating experiences is about connecting together a whole lot of seemingly unrelated issues, you know, movement and greening the city, the sort of strategic goals that the council's actually got, and linking all of those threads together and turning them into a great experience for the city. Cities need to be creative because people are looking for memorable experiences. And at the heart of every city are people. Creativity really strives to give people memorable and important experiences to make their lives meaningful and purposeful. Adelaide's creativity, our smartness, our livability and being green, that is almost the perfect package. Who doesn't want those things and who wouldn't be inspired to live in a place that has that?